This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online, I'm Rena Nainen. And I'm TJ Holmes with the top stories on this Monday, October 20th. And we begin with good news for one group of people at risk for contracting Ebola and a critical period for another. That 21-day monitoring window ends for the first 48 people who came into contact with Thomas Eric Duncan. Among them, his family, his fiance, and the first health workers to treat him. But another 75 Dallas healthcare workers are now entering a time of high concern. They cared for Duncan close to his death when the risk is highest. If they've been infected, their symptoms would begin appearing right about now. The U.S. military has airdropped weapons, ammunition, and medical supplies to help Kurdish forces in Syria. They're defending the city of Kobani against ISIS fighters. The drop comes after more than 100 airstrikes by U.S.-led forces. Those strikes have now helped push ISIS back and weaken its rank. But the head of U.S. Central Command says the situation is still fragile and Kobani could still fall. Pennsylvania State Police could learn today whether blood found on several porches matches that of Eric Freen, who was wanted in the attack on two troops. The blood was found Thursday, and with a possible sighting of Freen Friday night, the search area is expanding south. Freen has been on the run since an early September attack, which killed one trooper and injured another. And finally, a Fresno, California man is alive this morning because of the extraordinary kindness of strangers. He was trapped inside his burning home, his daughter outside screaming for help. One by one, three men answered the plea. Michael Alcala found the 73-year-old man struggling with his oxygen tank, but the smoke made it hard for him to breathe, too. So the other two men stepped in and they rushed him to safety, everyone escaping just in time. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. More Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture.